Chapter 2 The Kingdom to Come Very short chapter. If I'm to become a king again, I'll need to convince a kingmaker to help us. A kingmaker? Yes, a monarch must have the power to serve his people. A kingmaker is a magical creature blessed with great power. By bending one to his will, a king proves that he will is worthy to lead his nation. Huh. So it's a mark of author of authority. Yes. But not just that. It's also a guardian. In times of need, it can come to the nation's aid. A single kingmaker has the strength of an entire army. Is that so? I'm guessing they're pretty big. Oh yes, some are the size of a castle. Well now. You don't say. And you mean to tame one of these things? Wait a minute. You were a king until just recently, right? Shouldn't you have one with these king- one of these kingmakers already? Not exactly. Well, my father only died a month ago, so you see. We hadn't quite got around to that part yet. I was right. So, I was never a true king. Not really. Mm. If the ceremony had gone ahead as planned, I would have my king make by now, but of course it didn't. Hmm. Yeah, you were right. <laughs> I wonder what's happening with your kingmaker now that you're out of the picture. Because he was only a boy, so you wouldn't think that he was actually going to be already a king yeah. for no apparent reason. There had to be a reason. But that is Melsinger's. And it's still pretty. I can still say it's pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. Ooh. So he's a, he has a kingmaker too? He took the one that was supposed to be. His father's? No. That Open was heart. going to be. Uh, Evans. Has recognized I think his father had a different one. Yeah, maybe it died when he world. died. I stand before you. Your new king! Yeah! Yeah. I see, so in all likelihood, Mousinger has taken control of your kingmaker already. Yes, which means I'll have to find a new one. A new kingmaker for our new kingdom. And where do we find one exactly? There can't be too many of these things. I think we might have the chance of meeting one if we visit the king's castle beyond Cloud Coil. Oh, king's cradle beyond Cloud Coil Canyon. Huh? The king's cradle? Mm. It's a holy place where a kingmaker is enshrined. Every kingdom has one. So if a kingmaker happened to be on at loose ends, we could visit them at their king's cradle and try to convince them to sign up with us. Exactly, and if the stories are true, there is a kingmaker in the place I mentioned which has yet to be claimed. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. All right. One moment. Evan's essentials unlocked. Now I can fight beside you, <laughs> Roland. Well, all right. But take it easy to begin with, okay? Ooh, party menu has been unlocked.
you only have Roland on your team? I know, yeah. And him. The main oh. game. I don't count him, because he is the main character. <laughs> sit on his team, so that means... Okay. Counting him on that team. What's that? Oh. Look, a trip door. A what? A trip door. They're found where the energy of the land is especially strong, mostly near landmarks. If you touch it, it will sort of remember you, and that means you can return to it whenever yeah. you like. Not everyone can use them, though. You need to know a certain special spell called travel. Luckily, Nella taught it to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you're telling me you know how to teleport? How come you didn't use this spell of yours to get out of the castle? Well, I, as I said, you need to have visited trip door in order to travel back to it. And well, I've never really spent much time outside the castle until now. In fact, this is the first trip door I've ever seen. Huh. Of course. Well, let's visit as many as we can from now on. These things are sure to come in handy. Yes. Let's. Shall we begin by having this one remember us? Woo, trip door. A purple flame guy. I'm pretty sure that's like a sprite. They are flame people. <laughs> They're in chibi form. Oh no! Hedgehound, no! I wanted the chest. Come on! Victory! Now I can get the chest. Kind of like the Final Fantasy game. Yeah. A hundred guilders. Surprise attack. You ready oh, for this? A lot on this end. Victory! It's a house. What's going on here? Oh, what did I ever do to you, I ask? Oh, my pretty goodness. Oh, oh. You rotten devil of a thing, you. Mm -hmm. Come on. Dealing with airborne. Here goes nothing. He took flight. Why not have a 
and do a hike. Okay, and are the same things as those? They're really cute. They kind of look. These ones kind of look like Pikmin. <laughs> That was a close one, and no mistake, I don't know what I'd have done if you two lovely boys hadn't come wandering by. I'm Martha, by the way. Auntie Martha to those I take a shine to, and I'm pleased to say I've taken a shine to you. <laughs> come on, then. We're going to my house. I must give you a little something to say thank you. Purple and red. Hmm. Oh, pink. Dang, that's pink. Righto! Hey, it's much, but it's not much, but it's home. In you come. There's a purple one. Purple is blue. Oh, she has a bunch. Oh. Right. Yeah. Thanks ever so much. You two really did save my bacon there. I never expected to see a wyvern so close to home. Honestly, a girl can't even go out picking herbs in peace these days. Uh, so these little creatures of yours, are they monsters? Oy. You cheeky so-and-so? No, they are not. They're, well, they're more phenomena than anything, I suppose. Phenomena? That's right, dear. There's the wind, isn't there? And fire and rain and sh such like. They're all natural phenomena. And when the, those phenomena decide to grow herb heads and legs and start running around being adorable, they become Higgled these. So where were you off to when you got waylaid helping out old Martha anyway? We don't often get visitors around these parts. We were on our way to the King's Cradle beyond Cloud Coil Canyon. <gasps> no, really? Just the two of you? Going into that den of despicable Sky Pirates? Huh? Sky Pirates? We have to. Well, no. Have to, dear? Mm. Absolutely. Positively, yes. Oh. <laughs> well, in that case, you'd better take some of my little lovelies with you. Mm -hmm. Really? Higgle Piggle. Oh. You really don't mind? There's certainly. It's the least I can do. You've shown me that you'll treat them kindly, and best of all, that you'll put them to good use. Thank you. Thank you very much, Auntie Martha. I'll feel a lot better with these little guys backing us up. Wonderful, and. If it, you ever have any questions about them, you just come and ask me, you hear? 
Transalable the Righteous has decided to join you on your adventure. Need the thingy teleport to Auntie Martha's cottage. Oh no, run away, it's level nine. Say <laughs> that doesn't look like the right way. I don't know, I wasn't looking at the words. I didn't press any button. I know. Why? Oh, that's what you meant. Cloud Coil Canyon. <laughs> so we have to make it through this valley to reach the King's Cradle, huh? Hmm. Yes, and that's not the only challenge we face. The King's Cradle is at the other end of Cloud Coil Canyon on an island near the head the Heart's Land. Uh -huh. So we'll need to find a boat too? I'm afraid so. But we must worry about that later. First we need to make it through the valley. I saw a teleport. Oh, there it is. Hmm. There's also a shop. Hello there. Well, now you don't look that like sky pirates. Thank goodness. Would you be interested in making a little purchase, perhaps? I have some lovely fresh herbs in well, now. stock. What's a merchant doing all the way out here? Well, it's quite a story, actually. You see, I was based in Ding Dong Dell, but there was a little political trouble over there that way, and now the mice are in control. I didn't much like the look of how things were going, so I made good my escape while I still could. You're, you're from Ding Dong Dell, you say? Indeed, I... Now wait just a sec, one second. King Evan, you're alive! Everybody on Leaf Book was saying you'd been killed, so I just assumed the rumors must be true. Oh well, um, I don't know, actually I survived, yes. What's Leaf Book? Is this some other kind of magic you guys have or something? I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea. You've never heard of Leaf Book? I'm guessing it's kind of like Facebook? <laughs> Why, it's the greatest place to find the latest news and gossip from all over the world. And the device for accessing it is the hottest new product from the technological wizards over at Broadleaf Inc. Sorry, just listen to me launching into my sales patter. You'll have to forgive me. Old habits die hard. 
So there's some kind of device we can use to get the latest information from all over the world. Sounds pretty useful. Do you have any of these things for sale? How much are you asking? Well, they're a snip at 10,000 guilders. I don't think we have 10,000 guilders. Although, I suppose you have just been through rather a tough time, your majesty. A nice discount would probably be just the thing to cheer you up. Let's see now. Yes, I think I can let you have one for absolutely nothing. It's going to come in awfully handy and, well, it's the least I can do under the circumstances. Free? Really? Cool. You're sure? I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Glad to be of service. We got the Leaf Book viewer. Thank you! Thank you very much. I'll take extra special care of it, I promise. Farewell! I'm sure you will. And if you ever want to repay the favor with a purchase or two, I certainly shan't say no. Well, I was going to you in the first place to know what you were selling. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Feel free to have a good look, long look. Welcome. Bye. Sleep be gone, old claw. Oh, we have what are these? Like Why do they all cost only one gill? I can buy one of each, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. I think these. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense why they're only one gill. This is how we buy the, uh. DLC. I mean, get the DLC. We want the cloud cutter. Siren Saber. Yeah. He has an old cloak on. Oh. Please come again. Treasure chest. Okay, now we're going to save. 